Hi, in this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Nordic Track EXP 14i. And I'll tell you why I think this is the Goldilocks of treadmills. It's got the right balance of quality. It's a fantastic treadmill. But as we know, fitness equipment is expensive. The price on this, I think, is really good as well. However, as good as this treadmill is, it's not perfect. So let's get cracking. I've had this treadmill in my gym for a couple of weeks now and the hardware has been excellent. The build quality on this has been really good. Like all treadmills, so you will need two people to build this tread. But once again, it was easy. It probably took me about half the time it took to build my Nordic Track 2450. One thing I really like about the EXP 14i is that it's got this great space saving feature so that when it's not in use, it easily stores upright like this, and it actually comes into the room less than a stationary bike would. To bring it down, you just press the hydraulic pin here, comes down fast at the start, and then it's like a soft eject, if you remember what they were on tape decks. I love working out, and I'm in here probably five or six times a week, and I split my cardio between a treadmill, an audit track treadmill, and an audit track stationary bike the S22i, which is a fantastic bike. And one of the reasons why I much prefer a treadmill to running outside is just because it's much easier on my joints. If I run outside, which I don't, if you see me running outside, then you better start running because something's gone very wrong somewhere, then <laughs> I really feel it afterwards. When I'm running in here, as long as I warm up, which I do before every workout, I feel great, the workouts go well, and I don't have any effects afterwards after the run. Another benefit of these guided workouts, the reason I'm not showing you it on the treadmill is because to show you on the tread, then the tread belt would go round and it'd make a noise. I'm showing you the workouts on the TV. This is a fantastic one. This is the 2022 Boston Marathon with Tommy Ribs. A fantastic workout. It's over several parts. And no matter what your ability is, you can do it. And I'll explain why later. One thing that the EXP 14i manages very well is being firm enough to give you confidence when you're walking, running or hiking, but at the same time giving you enough cushioning to avoid any sort of discomfort or injury. And to give you some idea of what the treadmill sounds like, here it is. And what I find is when I've got my headphones in, I can't really hear that. But if you're running using the speakers, then you will hear the belt going round. One thing I've always struggled with is tight calves. I'm not gonna tell you what I call them, but let's just say they're always looking to speak to the manager. <laughs> and I've found that with just a five minute warm up before getting on this treadmill, I'm fine. Each workout generally contains a short warm up anyway, but I haven't had, had, but I haven't had any problems with injuries. It's been a real pleasure to use. I would score the running belt on this treadmill a solid eight out of 10. It really is quite good. I've got the 2450 here and I've got lots of experience on this treadmill. I would give this one a nine. So the 2450 is slightly better, but the EXP 49 is a lot cheaper and it's also very good. And that's why I feel that the EXP series is the Goldilocks of the range. This is the 14i, you've got the, this got 14 inch screen, the 10i has a 10 inch screen and the 7i has a 7 inch screen. Now there are some plastics here, but you only touch this area when you get on and off. The main touch points or the two touch points really are gonna be the belt, which is very good, and also this tablet, which is also very good and really responsive. I like the 14i because it's got the 14 inch screen, but if you go for one of the smaller screens, there's also a tablet holder here. If for instance, you want to watch middle-aged men on YouTube in their PE kits, each to their own. If you're thinking about buying an Audit Track EXP 14i or any other piece of Audit Track equipment, I'll put a link in the description and that will take you to the best price on their website. And it also helps support the channel, which is greatly appreciated. All Nordic Track equipment runs iFit software, which I'm going to show you in a moment, and it's excellent. When you first get your treadmill, it will give you a free month's trial, and then it will ask you to sign up for a monthly membership. My advice would be just to go onto iFit's website and decide which membership's right for you. So we're a family of four, and at least two of us, the kids. They said they would use it, but they don't. 
<laughs> we're a family of four and there's two of us using this. So we have a family membership and we buy that annually and we bought it last year for a year and it was 250 for the year, which is a good saving on paying for it monthly. And um, that was in the Black Friday sale. If you're a sole user, it will be even cheaper than that. So have a look at the membership options, either on the iFit website or Nordic Tracks website, and you could save some money over just saying yes to a free month and then paying for a family membership, especially if you don't really need a family membership. This is the screen you see when you first get on the tread. So currently I'm doing a hike, uh, a series of hikes, which are excellent, I can recommend them. And they're actually quite hard. It sounds like they're easy, but they're not. <laughs> and then you've got the latest from iFit. So this, this section here shows you the latest workouts that have come up from iFit, as well as latest programs. Next, up next for you. So as you go through workouts and you get a choice to rate them afterwards, it starts to build up a profile of your next workout. So depending on how you feel, you might decide you're not gonna do the recommended workout, but what you can do is you can say, look, I'm not gonna do that today, but you can click on it and then you can click the schedule button and you can say, I am gonna do that workout tomorrow and it will schedule it for you. And then today you can do one of these instead, for instance. There's also challenges on here, as well as recommended workouts, so based on what you've done, and then you've got recommended series as well. You can also browse by category, running, walking, mind, hiking, etc. Feature which I love about this treadmill, and almost as much as the feature I'm gonna talk about after this one, is the Smart Adjust. So when you're on a workout, for instance, if you're on a hike, the treadmill will automatically adjust up and down. It can go up from zero to 12 degrees. If you're going down, it won't go below zero on the EXP, on the XP 49. On the 2450, which I'm pointing out and you can't see, that, that goes to negative three, which does make a bit of a difference for your workout. It uses a different set of muscles than just being flat or on the incline. However, before getting the 2450, which I'm still pointing out, um, I've, ne I've never used a treadmill that declines. So without feeling that feature, I wouldn't be missing it on this really. But if that's important to you, then you may want to consider uh, a 2450 over an EXP 14i. I mean, I wouldn't think it's a deal breaker though, not having that decline feature. One thing I really love is the auto follow feature. Now, as um, somebody who, as I've mentioned, is not an experienced runner, no workouts on here are out of bounds for me. So if I pick a beginner workout, which might be a little bit too easy for me, then if the resistance on the workout, the difficulty is doing this throughout the workout, I can set it to be higher, which means that the workout's doing this, but my resistance automatically changing a level above. Conversely, and what happens more often than not, is if I pick an advanced workout, then the difficulty is up here, but I've got it set to be a level below when I'm doing my workout. You just adjust it once in the workout and it remembers that setting and carries it through. It is a really good feature. So when you're looking at iFit's library, there's 17,000 workouts on here. You're not restricted to your skill set. If you want to you do a beginner, you can. If you want to do an advanced, you can. It would just be changed to suit your needs. But as much as that is really impressive, what's more impressive is the active pulse feature. So if you wear a heart rate monitor, I wear a whoop, then it will link seamlessly to the machine and it will keep you in the correct heart rate zone. And that means I don't have to make any adjustments <laughs> to the treadmill, to the workouts on the treadmill. I just put the smart heart rate adjustment on and then as I'm working out, it will see my heart rate go up and it will say you're slightly higher than what we would like to see and it will reduce the intensity for me. Or if it sees my heart rate drop below the intensity it wants me to be at, it will raise the speed and resistance on the machine. And one thing I've got my machine set to, which um, you may or may not need, is I've got my machine set to not go above seven miles an hour. Because one thing I was worried about was, will the auto adjust run away from me? It never does. <laughs> but you can cap the top speed on your treadmill just in case if you really want to. And with this active pulse feature, I can recommend say this run to my wife, for instance, where my average speed might be four to four and a half miles an hour with a maximum speed of six miles an hour. My wife will get on the treadmill, do exactly the same workout, 
and her average speed may be six miles an hour and her top speed 7.5. I'm going on, but it is just such a good feature. If you prefer to do things manually, then you've got your controls here. So these are your gradient controls. You've also got a start and a stop button, an emergency button as well. It also has auto fan, which I absolutely love. So you can adjust the fan to a speed that suits you or it can be automatic. You've got volume controls here for the music as well. This screen, now I, there's a light in here. I don't know if you can see, there's a spotlight right there. There it is. So if, like me, you've got spotlights, you can adjust the screen to suit your viewing angle and also remove any glare from lights. What's not coming across as much on the camera is this surround. So this is a little bit of a gloss finish, which I'm not so keen on. I prefer a matte finish or something to match the bezel on the actual screen here. And your speed functions are all here. So in conclusion, we really like this treadmill. The three brake horsepower motor, will suit more casual runners like myself and more experienced and faster runners like my wife for instance. The size is very good for home use. It will fit in most homes very easily and I love the fact that it actually folds up when not in use. After all, we're on this treadmill probably three to four hours a week, which means there's 160 hours plus where it's actually just sitting there switched off. So the ability to be able to fold it up is a good one. The content from iFit is excellent and is the main reason why I switched away from riding and running with Peloton, who I'm a big fan of. I, like, I do like Peloton, but there's only so much stimulus you can get in a class environment. So doing a strength workout or a workout here in Jamaica is more interesting to me than doing one in a studio, for instance. And it's the same with the rides and also the runs. And as for the machine itself, at this price point, I think it's excellent value for money. And I do stand by what I say, I think it's the Goldilocks of the range when it comes to Nordic Tracks treadmills. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see my review of the 2450, the Nordic Track 2450, then I'll put that up here. And until next time, see you soon.